Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Stream Fire app to your Fire Sticks or Android TVs. It's an amazing app that's got loads of channels inside, probably a couple of hundreds of channels from all over the world. Here I just had to blur out my screen because YouTube doesn't allow me to show you the exact channels available in this app, but in your case, of course, it's not gonna be blurred. And now without any further ado, let me show you how to get this amazing live TV app to your Fire Stick device. So now, firstly, what you gotta do is get the app code downloader on your Fire Stick. You can actually get the loader totally for free from your official Amazon App Store. To do so, you just go to search on your device and start typing the loader in the search bar. So let's do it. And there, as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So Usually, there is even no need to enter the whole name of the app. Now we gotta click on Downloader, and there's the app that you gotta get to your Fire Stick device. But after you install Downloader, it's actually not over yet, because we still need to set it up. And in order to actually set up Downloader on your Fire Stick, we have to go to Settings, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. What you gotta do in here is turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, because it's actually super easy to make them appear. So just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, and in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have pop out for us right here. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install on apps. From here, all you gotta do is locate downloader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally, if you go back to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, we open it and there's the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire Stick. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Belgium right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important, if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of this video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the downloader safely. So we go back to the list of apps on your device and start up the downloader application. So let's start it up. Now here on the left side menu, what you need to do is click on Home. And after that, in that search bar, we gotta enter a code. So the code is gonna be 6, 2, 8, 9, 3, 2. So once again, it's pretty simple, it's 628932, that's the code we're gonna enter, then let's click on go, 
And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about fire sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly helps me a lot and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. Then what you gotta do is click on install and now the Streamfire app will be finally installed on your Fire Stick. And now what you gotta do is click on done and then delete and delete once again. This way you get rid of unnecessary installation files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important because by default your Fire Stick does not really have too much free space available anyway. And now if you go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, let's open it. And there's the Streamfire app, which we have just downloaded. So now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way Streamfire app is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore is going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your connected to stay safe online. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.